right, I'm going to show you what reflections over the coordinate plane look like and how to find the reflections, how to find the new coordinates of the object that you are reflecting. And so first, let's just talk about what it means. Um, if I asked you to reflect the point P, which is at 2 comma 5, which is right here, this is the origin right here, this is the Y axis, and this is the X axis. And so if this is the point 2 comma 5, I go over 2 and I go up 5. Well, if I want to reflect it over the x-axis, that's this point right here, that line right here, this new point, P prime, needs to be just as far from the x-axis as point P is. And so since this is 5 away from the x-axis, this is going to be 5 down from the x-axis. So the new point, or coordinate P, is 2 comma negative 5. So if I'm reflecting over the x-axis, my x-coordinate stays the same, but my y-coordinate becomes the opposite sign. I'm going to change signs. Um, if you're reflecting the point Q, which is at negative 3, comma, negative 6, again, here is the origin right here, um, I'm going to reflect it over the y-axis, which is right here. So that means it's going to be over here, and it's going to be just as far from the y-axis as this side as it is on this side. And since this is 3 away right here, this needs to be 3 away right here. And so this is the point of Q prime. <clears throat> now, the uh, ordered pair for Q prime is 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6. So Q prime is at 3, comma, negative 6. Notice reflecting over the Y axis that your x value is what changes signs, but your y value stays the same. So reflecting over the y axis keeps your y value the same, but changes signs of the x value in the coordinate. All right, so let's redo this one. Um, reflect the point r at negative 2 comma 5. So let me go ahead and graph that one at negative 2. Remember, I started at the origin. Negative 2 comma 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here is point r. And I'm going to reflect it over the y-axis. This is the y-axis here. And so the y-coordinate stays the same. Remember, your points are written x comma y. And so the y-coordinates, <coughs> excuse me, the y-coordinate stays the same, <coughs> but the sign changes for your x-coordinate. So the coordinate for r prime is going to be 2 comma 5. So I'm going to start here, I'm going to go to the right, 2, and then I'm going to go up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the point R prime. Now, when you are um, reflecting entire figures, you do the same thing. You're just going to do it for each of the points and then connect the dots. So <clears throat> here is the graph, of, or here's the image ABC, triangle ABC. We're reflecting it over the x-axis, which is right here. And again, you can see with these colors, C is one away from the y or from the x-axis, so C prime is also one away from the x-axis. A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 away from the x-axis, so it needs to be 7 away. A prime needs to be 7 away from the x-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7. So here's A prime. And then B is 4 away from the x-axis. So B prime is 4 away from the x-axis. This is kind of like if we're, when we're talking about symmetry, this would be um, <coughs> excuse me, um, the line of symmetry. It creates a line of symmetry, essentially. So the new coordinates for A prime, B prime, and C prime, and again, we're reflecting over the x-axis. And so A is at Sure, I'm right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, comma 7. So A was at 9, comma 7. So when I'm reflecting it over the x axis, the x stays the same and my y changes signs. So it's at 9, negative 7. And you can see that it is, it's at 9, negative 7. B is at 11, comma 4. So B prime, again, we're reflecting it over the X axis, so my X stays the same, and then my Y changes signs. So it's going to be 11, negative 4. 
and then you can see again that it's 11 and then negative 4. And then for C, C is at 1, kind of hard when the, sorry, it's kind of hard when the axes don't stand out very much. So it's at 1, 2, comma 1. So C prime, the reflection of C over the x-axis, <coughs> excuse me, is at 2, comma, negative 1. And again, because we're reflecting over the x-axis, the x-coordinate stays the same, and then we change the signs of the y-coordinate. So that's why it's at negative 1. All right, so let's try this one. It says graph the image of triangle DEF, reflecting it over the y-axis. So because we're reflecting it over the y-axis, the y-coordinate is going to stay the same, but the x-coordinate is going to change um, signs. So D is at 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So D is at negative 4, comma, 5, which means D prime, because we're reflecting it over the y-axis, the y coordinate stays the same, but we're going to change the signs of our x coordinate. So it's going to be at 4, comma, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And make sure that you are labeling the points, and then if it's prime, you put the one little mark after it. Um, e is at negative 1, 2, 3, comma, negative 1, 2, 3. So negative 3, comma, 3 for E. So E prime, reflecting it over the y-axis, the y-coordinate stays the same, the x-coordinate changes signs, so it's going to be at 3, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, down 3. It's negative. So this is E prime. And then F prime. Um, F is at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 8, comma, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we're at negative 8, negative 5. So that means F prime, X coordinate changes signs, and the Y coordinate stays the same. So it's going to be at 8, comma, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, comma, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you want to try to make these as straight as possible. I'm lucky I get to use this computer to draw mine, but you would want to use a ruler just to make sure you're straight. And there we go. So there is the, oops, I didn't label that. So here is our image reflected over the y-axis.